If you think that the risk is overheating and inflation picking up, how do you read the housing numbers? Another pretty bad number that we got on new home sales today. What's happening in the auto sector? Some of the signs in the semiconductor market and prices and put all together, paint a picture of an economy that doesn't look like it's overheating. Well, it depends what you mean, uh, that the, the growth of, is going to be slowing down from 3%. It's not sustainable. So that's something that we expect to happen. But the key point is, even with growth slowing from 3%, we're still uh, expected to have, inflation, uh, have the unemployment rate fall. And we are in territory where sometimes inflation can get out of control. So I think that the issue here is that we have to be very cognizant of what the numbers are doing and uh, not take a strong stance. Uh, I think that that uh, um, the Fed actually uh, doing some further rises in interest rates makes sense given the strength of the economy. Uh, and so I don't see that the economy is showing weak numbers. It's just basically can't be boring along at this 3% rate when, in fact, uh, uh, the, uh, the growth of potential GDP uh, is actually much lower than that. That's, I think, just the reality of the situation right now. Jason, how real is the threat of a global slowdown outside of the U.S. then infecting the U.S. growth outlook next year? And given that you're sat in London, in particular in Europe and the U.K. with Brexit on the horizon. Yeah, look, I mean, I agree with Rick. Most of what we're seeing is an economy moving towards a more normal um, growth rate. I'm not panicked by the growth slowdown in the United States. We're going to be growing you know, in a year or two from now, we'd be sort of happy with a 1.75% growth rate. That's about what our potential is. Um, there's a set of downside risks. Brexit is one of them. Um, U.S. trade wars are another. I don't think that should be the central concern of monetary policy. Um, what I think its central concern, though, should be is data dependence. And if in right. September you thought you wanted one more hike this year, the markets already did that hike. The long-term rate is up. The dollar is up. The stock market is down. Um, we just don't need the hike that back in September um, it seemed like we need. It's already been done. So I think this is sort of a sort of gentle titration exercise, not a panic about warding off a slowdown.